Hello everyone, Raptrex here. As you can see, I'm back in FTB ready for another episode. Uh, now, actually, I've, uh, I have to apologize for last episode because I spent half the episode messing around, digging holes, and making a mess back here. Uh, and I ended up kind of scrapping the whole deal um, because uh, I have a little bit of an OCD as it comes to organization and uh, having things a little bit clean, as you probably guess or were able to tell. Um, so I moved a few things around here, obviously, um, the ME stuff is now against this wall over here to the right. Um, these are the few machines that don't really need to be automated. Uh, this is just the liquid transposer with a magma crucible, just in case I need to make some tesseracts or, um, or uh, what is it called, uh, the conduits and so forth. Roller machine, don't really know what I could use it for, but uh, it's always good to have around, I guess, instead of uh, if I need to make some of those uh, iron plates or whatever they're called. Um, either way, uh, I have that just in case uh, I need it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, well, let me just show you guys where I moved everything. Um, last time around, I believe I did look over here. Um, I'm not completely sure um, if, I, if I could put it over here because I didn't have any space on this wall. Um, as you can see, obviously, I did move uh, the Tesseract. Uh, over to the left side, um, mainly because it didn't really need, there's no reason why it had to be on the right side over here. Um, so I just kind of moved it over, um, got the input bus here, everything was already set up, I think it should be set up properly, hold on. Yep, okay, stack mode, good. So everything should be working over here. Um, I actually made a huge uh, fail on my end, <laughs> I didn't, uh, didn't record it. Um, after I moved here, I forgot to set the frequency on the Tesseract. Um, I didn't have the the loaded, I mean the H loaded at the time, so while this whole thing was doing, it was you know it was, it was the core wasn't working. Um, so I forgot to put the, the frequency on, went to digger H, and items started spooling everywhere. So I just had uh, you know a little bit of a fail there. Just remember to uh, put the frequency there if you do decide to move it uh, for some reason. Um, now what else? Um, I have the accuracy accumulator behind this wall, so everything's nice and uh, clean. As you can see, oh, I did make already the import bus and the interface, just because uh, I didn't want to waste much more time. If I just get this right, in the interface here, there we go. Um, and some cable, I mean cable. Should be more than enough. All right, so everything's connected back up. Everything's nice and clean. Uh, I do apologize for wasting so much of the last episode uh, messing around with that stuff. Um, I do have to get a few recipes done um, this time around, like the water cells and uh, buckets of water. Um, that's always a uh, something that you come across on uh, weird recipes that just kind of like breaks the the progress, I guess, because you're kind of in the middle of making a recipe and then he's like, oh, I need a bucket of water, I have to run. Uh, so this way, uh, I don't have to run. I can just quickly and easily make it. Now, uh, let's see if I have any ME patterns uh, laying around. Sure do. Um, now, before I get into this, uh, this because uh, obviously I can't talk and uh, do something at the same time because I get a little sidetracked and I can't do both of them properly, either one uh, properly. Uh, now, what I'm going to do in the next few episodes, um, I've been looking at a few of the recipes, a few other things around that um, mainly Grectic related uh, as far as uh, getting some Iridium. Uh, obviously the main uh, source of Iridium is through mass fabrication with UU matter. Uh, now if you guys remember back in my Tech It uh, Let's Play, I used uh, you know, mass fabricator, you just quickly, you could quickly make it uh, and uh, it was a matter of just getting power to it. Now, in Greg Tech, on, uh, that I've realized, uh, Mass Fabricator, on the other hand, is not so easy to make. Uh, if anything, it is really advanced stuff. Um, why is it not giving me the recipe? Is it some kind of secret or something? Well, recipe's not showing up. That's a bit of a... Uh, it's not actually a bit. It's a, quite a pain in the ass. Um... I wonder if maybe there's a bug. Um, either way, uh, I did look at the recipe briefly, so I obviously can't remember off uh, the top of my head, um, on, uh, on the wiki. So it is rather advanced stuff. Um, and I actually realized that you need four iridium um, to even make the mass fabricator, which is kind of crazy uh, because of how rare iridium is. Um, I do have two iridium ores. Um, I got one, I believe, from... Um, when I was doing strip mining, got really lucky there because uh, 
of how rare it is. And I'm guessing the other one, I probably got it from the quarry. Not really sure. I haven't really been keeping track of it. Uh, but as you can see, I only have two. Half of what I need. Uh, now, what I need to do now is probably make another quarry. And this quarry, I won't be putting it in the, uh, in the other age. I mean, in the digger age. Mainly for one reason. Uh, Bowsite. Um, I made this industrial blast furnace mainly to make titanium and uh, all these other fancy uh, metals uh, that I will need, I believe, at least as far as I remember from uh, the recipes uh, for the mass fabricator and other advanced stuff like um, fusion reactors and so forth. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna definitely need this stuff because that's some high level in uh, Greg tech uh, stuff. I'll, I'll probably have to actually upgrade this uh, blast furnace because right now the, the heat capacity, I can't make uh, the higher level tier stuff. Um, so that's something to look forward to. Um, my uh, MFFS thing here is a it's been working properly. I actually got scared shitless when I logged in because I got this thing uh, security station security warning you now in my I'm not sure the, the grammar is correct there in my scanning range uh, I ran down here immediately thinking I was gonna get killed for some reason because uh I don't know I, I could have done a massive uh, mistake and messed around forgot to take a, uh, maybe taken out the master card or change the settings here or something I'm not sure I just got scared shit let's came down here and uh, I guess it's just kind of the default message you get when you're logged in. Uh, good to know now. <laughs> uh, I just got a heart attack being locked out of my own base. Um, now, let's see. Um, back to the recipe, I guess. I'm already seven minutes into the episode, thereabouts. So, need to get busy. Um, right, some ME blank patterns. I need to make some cans, some empty cells, so I need some tin. Uh, that's fine. I need to get, see, that's another thing here, platinum ingots, um, not really sure how to make them. Kind of gone those through, uh, random dusts you get from the pulverizer. Um, uh, let's see here, real quick, how to make them. Uh, not the block. Alright, let's see how to get the platinum dust. Oh, some ferros, so that's probably where I got it from. Um, iridium, okay. Ooh. Now I wonder if I get the iridium ore, or I get right away the iridium from the from the quarry. Hmm. I don't think it'll be that easy to just get a iridium ore from there. Right. So. Okay. So it looks like it's just a okay grinder. There we go. From uh, well, that's not it either. Fusion reactor. Okay. That's one way to get platinum. Well, I'm just kind of curious to see if it has uh, the tiny piles, this stuff. Where can I get tiny piles of platinum? It's usually kind of stuff that you get in the electrolyzer. Oh, well, I don't know where the, where I got it from. Um, I'll have to look, look a little bit more into it. Actually, I don't even know if I need it. I'm just kind of curious why I only have eight of those, which is uh, kind of low. Right, so some iron as well. I need some iron. Um... There you go. Only really need one for the pattern uh, thing here. So let's see. Here. Bucket. Make a bucket and code. Um. Now to make it cells makes four. Encode. There we go. Now to make one of those things. Uh, do I have an empty bucket anywhere? I don't think I have a bucket just yet. Alright, so I'll just have to quickly make myself one. There we go. Craft one. Begin. Done. Perfect. Um, right, I need a pattern now for this stuff. Um, first I need to fill one of these in there. Remember to set this to stack. Alright, so that should have been back in the system now so let's look for cell all right let's grab one and let's grab one of these uh, I've got an empty one and a full one so it's just oh that's not it water encode there we go 
and encode again. All right, so I got my water and my cell in here. Good. Good to have all this stuff ready. Um, I should probably need my water bucket back. Well, I guess not really. Well, I'm not really sure what I could need, need it for. Um, now, well, another, I guess, issue or something to be resolved um, with having a uh, mass fabricator will be obviously power. Um, I need a lot of power, even before making the fusion reactor. Now, something I've been avoiding to do, mainly because uh, I've done it before, but I've actually realized that there's plenty of new additions. Oh, probably stop beating around the bush, which is our solar panels. Um, there's some fancy solar panels now. Uh, you know, this is the regular ones, advanced uh, hybrid and ultimate hybrid solar panels. Um, these are not the regular solar panels I used to make back way back in tech because I don't believe I used them in the Direwolf series. I really don't think I did. Um, but these are totally different. Um, you know, I guess they, they do upgrade um, kind of similarly. They're named differently, and they actually have different effects, if I'm not mistaken. I believe the hybrid ones actually um, are able to produce power even during nighttime, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see here. This is the hybrid solar panel. This is the ultimate hybrid solar panel. Um, so as you can see, Enriched Scenarium. Um, interesting name. Uh, lapis Lazuli Block. Advanced Circuits. So it's definitely uh, up there uh, as, as far as upgrading. I remember back in, uh, in Tech It, the way to upgrade was just a matter of just putting in LV, MV, and HV uh, transformers in the middle and just putting eight around them. Uh, it was rather simple. As you can see here, it is actually a little bit more complicated. Iridium plates, actually. Um, so I probably won't be able to get to the even the hybrid solar panels, for that matter. What about this irradiant reinforced plate? Oh, boy, that sounds... Reinforced iridium, iridium iron plate. Iridium ingots. Okay. So that's going to be an issue. <laughs> I was hoping to be able to make... Um, at least advanced. It seems like I need iridium for just everything. So it's obviously the the common sense thing here. I wonder how much each solar panel here makes. I guess I can quickly throw one together here. What is this? A uh, silicon plate? Ooh, I need silicon cell to make it. How do I make that? Um, hold on. Game just kind of froze there for a second. Um, scrap box, no, that's not it. Uh, those are centrifuge. Get one silicon cell from redstone. Doesn't seem like the most uh, efficient way to do it. Sand. Okay, that could be a compressed air cell. That could definitely be something very uh, feasible. 50 seconds for one. I got plenty of uh, gravel that can uh, convert to sand. But this will require for me to automate the electrolyzer. Because as of right now, the electrolyzer is not, um, uh, how do I say this? It's not uh, automated uh, by any means. So, you know, it's got a nice bunch of buffers here to be able to input a bunch and output a bunch, but uh, not really anything automated at this point. Um, and I know I have to be very careful with the way I automate this because of the way um, there's a known bug apparently with a, uh, um, Applied Energistics and Greg Tech, particularly this item right here. Um, so, even before I can get it, I, thought, I actually didn't know that, realized that how complica complicated these uh, solar panels are, which is kind of nice actually, because if I remember how easy it is to get power back in Tech It, um, this actually makes things a little bit more interesting. Um, definitely a lot more interesting now that I realize how hard it will be to just make one single solar panel, even though I don't know how much. Uh, power uh, it would generate. I'll definitely need to get a recipe for generators because I really don't feel like making those over, over and over again. I have, few for, I have these and these covered. Glass panes would be another thing I need to get in the pattern. So let's see here. Um, Should I attempt to automate this right now? I'm at 14 minutes in. I don't see why not actually. So let's give it a try at least. This stuff will ha all have to be moved. Okay, so that's not playing nice. 
Oh, right, it was the top piece. I almost forget, uh, was forgetting. Oh, I guess vanilla chest you can rotate. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Probably should get a axe. Um, all right, so let's see. I'm probably going to have a similar layout like I just have now, but in the import and export will be uh, with the with the, what, how do you call those, the, the plant logistics will be connected to the hopper and to the chest, not directly to the machine. I think that's a pretty decent way of uh, automating this system. Um, now, actually, something I don't know if I've uh, mentioned in this episode, um, something I realized is that apparently bossite doesn't spawn in the, the in certain biomes, like they want to have my digger agent, so I'm actually... Um, well, I'm not considering. I'm definitely going to have to make another quarry because uh, one, I need a lot more resources than I'm getting right at the moment. A, a, at least a lot quicker if I want to move on to mass fabricators and uh, so forth into the more advanced Grectic stuff. Um, now, I believe any forest or just about any forest um, will generate it because uh, I'm sure I've gone some boss site when I was cave raiding. Um, very confident I've gone boss site before. Uh, don't know what hold on let me check real quick here i'm in the planes so planes shouldn't i hate the bug in the map now uh planes shouldn't generate any boss site but i'm close to this uh forest over here what kind of forest is this uh this is a forest okay <laughs> it's just a regular forest all right so i'm pretty sure this forest would generate me some uh uh boss site so i'm probably going to be destroying some of the landscape here some of the chunks here are not loading properly um, so I'm going to definitely need another, uh, quarry to get me some boss site, to get some titanium, some more advanced stuff, and, uh, that's definitely something I would like to get automated here with, the uh, electrolyzer as well. Uh, let me get some stone here. And, uh, I believe I have that marble brick here. There you, go. you know what, I'm going to keep some stone in there. Just because those are like, kind of like my building blocks to like filling holes. Uh, Alright, so let's see. I am actually thinking, since this thing is right here, of probably putting the electrolyzer here. Kind of like digging a hole here. Um, let's see. Probably have to pretty this up a little bit after the episode. So let's just quickly make, just, just make the hole here for now. Here's all the filling I did with the, the coke ovens. What is wrong with my uh, power tool? Diamond drill upgrade, shovel pickaxe. Feels kind of slow. Could be wrong. Might have just gone too used to the way chews through dirt pretty much. Um, I'm actually scared to point in this direction because just make a huge cr crater probably right underneath my uh enchantment table area um right so what should i do here i'll probably lose all this i'm okay with that uh i can lose a little bit of power so i need more glass fiber cable let's see glass fiber cable not much left so let's just craft a whole bunch i don't know 10 more that will do Right, so let's run this down into the MFE here. I wonder if eventually I'll have, I'll have to definitely look into uh, the industrial blast furnace. What kind of a, uh, there's any known bugs with this thing. I want to be careful with that. Um, <coughs> let's see. Um, this will go into the electrolyzer here. Obviously, like I mentioned, I'm going to clean this up later. I just don't want to spend the rest of the episode trying to do this. Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I really don't like when it does that. When it, like, I feel like I'm about to crash. Why didn't it work? Okay. Interface opened up. I feel a little bit better now. Um, right, so. I need a hopper on top. I'll just use one for now. Um, doesn't really make sense to use the second one. 
and I need the whole Tartic gate system here laid out. Um, here we go. There we go. There. And there. So if I set this up to items in inventory, items in inventory, pulse. So right now it should be off. Yep, correct, because there's nothing in there. Um, and then I could just set up here, uh, uh, what is it called, the uh, import bus or whatever they're called. All right, let's just get a few of those in there. Um, I'm considering, should I just put it? an ME um, interface thing instead of just a export bus on top of this hopper. Yeah. Huh. Now that I'm thinking about it, I also need somehow to feed in uh, cells into it because of the way it works with the um, Hmm. All right, well, I have to think a little bit more on that. Uh, I'll get the interfaces or whatever for now, uh, at least the export one. So let's see, recipe, 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 export, uh, the export and then in input as well. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think I can just do a, I can work around just having an export bus Because As long as I can fi figure out a way to feed it cells constantly No matter what item comes in here as long as obviously I decide what item comes in there um, I'm prepared for it. So I always have to look at the recipe beforehand before dumping items in there And I'm gonna make sure this cell thing is always fed now. I'm wondering how I can feed cells in it. If there's a way to uh, automate the, the feeding of cells into it. Um, so I'm gonna look into that. All right, um, and now I'm actually thinking, I think the only bug with that is the the storage bus. I think that's the only problem. I think it's a storage bus that it doesn't like. I think I might be safe using the export and import, but I won't risk it just yet. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll rather look a little bit longer <laughs> in the wiki just to be uh, make sure. So for now, I guess I can only need an import and export bus. So let's grab a few things here. Um, I need the processor thing here, basic processor. I'm going to need some glass. I'm going to need some iron. Where's iron? All right, there's some iron. Some redstone, some quartz crystal. I'm gonna need. Um, I can't wait until I can do the the shift question mark thing into this thing. Wonder how long it's gonna. It's taking them forever to get the one five out uh, for FTB. I know there's a few packs out there that do have it, but I think the whole problem is with red power. Um, Oh well, okay, I'm sure those guys know what they're doing. <laughs> they're gonna get them out as, as quickly as they'll get it. Um, let's see. Um, quartz, redstone, uh, stuff. I do need some pistons. So I need two. One of which needs a slime ball. This needs to be a sticky piston. Alrighty. So let's get this done. Two. Perfect. Oh, the Emmy cable. Knew I was missing something. There we go. Two of these. And one for this one. And one for the import. Bus. There we go. Import, export. And a cable. Perfect. Uh, let's just quickly go down there. I'm going to get everything up here. Um. Is my cell phone ringing? Well, not ringing. Message received, I guess. Uh, import. Import means in, back into the system, so dump it there. Export means out of the system. I don't think I can do it from there, so. God dang it. 
Um, there we go. Um, and then just connect it here, I guess. There you go. So that sh should be working now. Move stacks at a time. And um, I'm wondering if it has, if I have any boss site or um, where's the stuff? Uh, dust. If I look for dust, Galena. There you go. That's the one I was looking for. Now if I have Galena in here, um, can move stacks at a time. It's good. Galena dust there, so I should throw it in there. Which is a way to tell if this is getting power or not. It should be getting power. Um, I'm going to find out here soon enough, aren't I? Uh, if it's not going to blow up on my face. Um, so, I'm going to dump the rest of the Galena into the system. I didn't want to have any in the system when, it, when I put it in the filter just in case something weird happened. But, uh, let's see. Alright, so that's working. It's dumping everything from the hopper. So that's behaving as it should. Now I'm just going to be keeping my eye out for when it finishes. I'm gladly this uh, process here doesn't take very long, at least for Galena. For boss site, on the other hand, that takes forever. And the amount of empty cells that it requires is ridiculous. Probably have to get a, a recipe. I mean a recipe, a pattern for emptying out the compressed air. That would definitely cut down on the amount of uh, uh, cells consumed. All right, let's see here. Come on, come on. There we go. All right, so that's picking them up. Going to the chest here, and they're getting pumped out back into the system. All right, so I got that automated. That's good. Um, so I just got to do the same thing for a uh, boss site. Um, I got to. I'm gonna probably test it out in a kind of like a test world just to be safe on uh, how to do this. Um, I wonder if uh, I can use another bus like that, but on the side of this thing, and if that will work or not. Hmm. Well, I have some testing to do, obviously some uh, cleaning up to do as well, uh, but I think that's a pretty good wrap up, wrapping up point, 27 minutes and change. Um, so yeah, until next time, bye.